are just talking about local democracy, a bunch of young women in East London just got on and did it. The Carpenters' estate has around 600 council homes, completely empty. Whilst last winter, the shopping precinct was full of rough sleepers. On Sunday, the 21st of September 2014, I went along to the fun day that Focus E15 were hosting on the Carpenters' estate. We was welcomed into the occupied flat that had been made into a beautiful home for everyone. Sister Sled was playing in the background. We are family. And that's what it felt like. It was a really strong sense of community. Mm. about that song, Nelly the Elephant. So when I got back from the hospital after my off, he threw me around the room doing Nelly the Elephant in a jive. <laughs> Peter must think, oh, look at them, they've been in places like that. But they've not been inside them. Don't go by the appearance of what Mr. Mayor has done putting the balls up. This, this is what I have to say <coughs> to him. If you honestly think that I am giving up my home to you or anybody else at my time of life, forget it. I will fight you. You will have to drag me out. It is mine. It belongs to me. Amid boarded up flats and abandoned gardens, the party continued, punctuated by cries of these homes need people. These people need homes. And at around four o'clock, the hosts swing themselves up into one of the flats, prized off the boards and welcomed in guests. At the time of writing, the mums are still inside, having converted a decent, needlessly empty home with power shower, electric, salon, and a new cooker into a community centre.
notices and stuff so um, um you're only supposed to stay in focus for six to eight months because they say once your child starts calling it's no longer suitable anymore because i need space to move around and that um me and sam actually used to have to take my daughter safi to westfield so she can run around yeah actually i was there for two years it's really stressful like so claustrophobic you've got like this tiny little space and like one window in your old flat and you can put your arms out and touch both walls. Loads of people are like, you open your legs young, like, but they don't actually get the actual gist of the actual situation. We was in hostels for a reason, do you know what I mean? Anyway, me and Sam started talking and that's when we realised like, it wasn't just one of us that got it, it was all of us. On the 20th of August 2013, all 29 mums were issued with eviction notices saying we had to leave on the 20th of October. And it was ridiculous. 